in this problem we are going to solve a response of a given closed loop system actually the given problem is a positional control system with velocity feedback is shown in figure what is the response c of t to the unit step input actually this is the given closed loop system so this is g of s this is h of s r of s is input c of s is output so we know from this closed loop system to get the transfer function the formula is c of s divided by r of s equal to g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s so this is the g of s this is the h of s so we have to substitute g of s here divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s k s in plus 1 so now we have to take lcm so we have to keep this numerator as it is in the denominator side so this is the multiplication of g of s into g of s into h of s therefore this we have to take lcm so therefore this term is common to this uh, this term therefore we have to multiply this with 1 so s into s plus 0.8 plus 16 into this ks plus 1 16 into ks plus 1 divided by s into s plus 0.8 so now we have to multiply this s into inside s into s s square plus 0.8 s so remaining things are 16 into ks plus 1 divided by s into s plus 0.8 so here s into s plus 0.8 here also s into s plus 0.8 so we can cancel so now we can multiply this inside this also inside so s square plus 0.8 s here 16 k s plus 16 so now after multiplication we can separate s square term s term constant term so here only one s square term s square here s term here s term so we can take s outside this is constant term so after cancelling den common denominators we will get transfer function c of s divided by r of s equal to 16 divided by s square plus 0.8 plus 16k into s plus 16 the standard form of second order closed loop transfer function is so we know the standard form c of s divided by r of s equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 eta omega n s plus omega n square so this is the standard form this is the given transfer function so we have to compare these two therefore we have to equate these two so from this omega n square equal to 16 so here omega n square here also omega n square both are same therefore omega n square equal to 16 omega n equal to 4 we see here 2 eta omega n that is equal to 2 eta omega n it means 0.8 plus 16 k so 2 eta omega n equal to 0.8 plus 16 k so now we have to equate so we know we calculated omega n that we have to substitute here from the given problem eta equal to 0.5 actually a positional control system with velocity feedback is shown in figure what is the response of CR, C, ct to the input the given damping ratio eta equal to 0.5 so this is the given problem so now we have to substitute eta equal to 0.5 so here 8 so 0.5 into 4, 4. here uh, in the right hand side same so we have to bring this 0.8 left hand side it will become 3.2 here 3.2 here 16 so k equal to 3.2 divided by 16 therefore k equal to 0.2 so now we have to substitute k value into this equation so k value here after substituting we will get so we have to add this will become 0.2 into 16 3.2 3.2 plus uh, 0.8 4 so s square plus 4s plus 16 so now the final closed loop transfer function c of s divided by r of s equal to 16 divided by s square plus 4s plus 16 so this is the transfer function from the given problem we have to find the response so response means we have to get the c of t so for that first we have to from this equation we have to arrange c of s equal to what therefore c of s equal to r of s into this term so c of s equal to r of s into this term uh, from the given problem so we have to consider unit step input so this r of s is input but it is in terms of laplace transform therefore laplace transform of unit step input r of s equal to 1 by s 
therefore 1 by s into 16 divided by s square plus 4s plus 16 so now uh, fi our final requirement is c of t to get c of t we have to apply the laplace inverse transform but in this this is not a standard form to apply laplace inverse transform directly therefore we have to apply a partial fraction actually here s into one separate pole then quadratic equation for this standard form is a divided by s for this s alone a divided by s plus for this quadratic equation b s plus c divided by s square plus 4 s plus 16 so now we know this is c of s equal to 16 divided by s into s square plus 4 s plus 16 so we have to equate these two now here we can take lcm i have written here so we have to take lcm so a into s square plus 4 s plus 16 then b into s into s plus c into s so this is after taking lcm here denominator in the right hand side denominator both are same therefore 16 equal to this term so now here what we can do we can multiply a into inside it will become a s square 4 a s then 16 into a 16 a b s square plus c s so now here we uh, we we have to compare s square term s term constant term on both the side so we can consider here there is no s term or s square term therefore we can consider 0 s square plus 0 s plus this constant term so before applying we can separate s square term s terms so here we see here s square term here s square term we can take s square as a common therefore a plus b into s, s square then s, s terms are 4a s here c s therefore 4a plus c into s then only one constant term so now we can compare s square term s term constant term on both the sides so now here constant term 16a here constant term 16 therefore 16 a equal to 16 a equal to 1 4 a plus c equal to 0 we see here s coefficient equal to 4 a plus c here s coefficient equal to 0 therefore 4 a plus c equal to 0 a value just now we calculated 1 4 into 1 plus c so 4 plus c equal to 0 c equal to minus 4 similarly s square term a plus b here 0 so a plus b equal to 0 we know a value therefore 1 plus b equal to 0 b equal to minus 1 so now we have to substitute a value b value c value here so we know a value equal to 1 b value equal to minus 1 c value equal to minus 4 so after that so here minus is common so we can take outside actually to get the response in terms of time so we have to take laplace inverse transform so this is c of s equal to 1 by s minus s plus 4 divided by s square plus 4s plus 16 actually there are three forms actually suppose 1 by s is available means laplace inverse of 1 by s is 1 so here 1 by s is available we can directly apply so we can convert s domain into time domain but we see from this actually it is not a standard form so we have to convert either this form or this form to convert this s domain into time domain so for that we have to do slight modification what we have to do so we have to keep 1 by s then we can keep s plus 4 as it is divided by so for our convenient we are going to split s square plus 4 s this 16 into 4 plus 12 so now this instead of this we can write it as 1 by s minus s plus 4 divided by s plus 2 the whole square plus 12 so we know s square s plus 2 the whole square equal to s square plus 2 square s square plus 2 square 4 plus 2 into 2 into s like a plus b the whole square so after that what we have to do so now 1 by s minus s s plus 4 divided by s plus 2 the whole square plus 12 so now we see from this format if suppose here s plus 2 means here also we have to have s plus 2 so for that what we can do 1 by s so i am going to separate s plus 2 plus 2 this 4 into 2 plus 2 divided by s plus 2 the whole square plus here we have to have format like omega square 
therefore square root of 12 the whole square so it it is nothing but 12 so now what we can do 1 by s minus so i am going to separate this s plus 2 term and s term in order to get form like this so therefore s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 the whole square plus square root of 12 the whole square so now this two we, we are going to separate now therefore this minus we have to multiply here so 2 divided by s plus 2 the whole square plus square root of 12 the whole square so now from this so we know already so we got this term like this form here s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 the whole square plus square root of 12 the whole square so it is like s plus a divided by s plus a the whole square plus omega square so for this laplace inverse is e power minus a t cos omega t but this is not in the standard form so this we can modify like this what we have to do what is available here that we have to multiply and divide so in order to get this term into this form what we have what we are going to do so we are going to multiply square root of 12 and divide square root of 12 so we will get 1 by s minus s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 the whole square plus square root of 12 the whole square minus 2 by root 12 into root 12 divided by s plus 2 the whole square into sorry s plus 2 the whole square plus root 12 the whole square so now this term is like this form so now we can apply laplace inverse laplace inverse of c of s equal to laplace inverse of 1 by s minus laplace inverse of s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 the whole square plus square root of 12 the whole square minus 2 by root 12 it is a constant laplace inverse of square root of 12 divided by s plus 2 the whole square plus square root of 12 the whole square so now laplace inverse of c of s equal to c of t this is the required response so now laplace inverse of 1 by s equal to 1 minus laplace inverse of s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 the whole square plus square root of 12 so for this form this is the laplace inverse transform output e power minus a is 2 so minus 2t into cos here omega is square root of square root t minus 2 divided by root 2 for this laplace inverse is e power minus 2t because here a is 2 into sin square root of 12 t so from this what we can do c of t equal to 1 minus here e power minus 2t here also e power minus 2t so we can take minus e power minus 2t outside inside will be cos square root of 12 into t plus 2 divided by root 12 sin square root 12 into t actually this is the response of the given problem